there's something that I've recently realized. The more that I talk, the less credible that I sound. I was doing some research over the weekend on how I can better present myself in front of my audience, doing things like looking at the camera, talking to you, not the camera. And one thing that stood out to me that I find myself doing a lot is to keep things simple. Stupid. <laughs> I have, through my entire life, I've had such a bad track record of over explaining what I want to say. And when I saw how to become a better storyteller and I saw that one point, it made me think about a post that one of my friends shared saying, the only reason that I explain so much as an adult is because nobody believed me when I was a child. And I think that that holds a very heavy truth because it happened to me too. My parents would always tell me that I'm lying about where I was or who I was with or why I was out late, that I would have to come up with this wild, fantastical story about why I was out late. And it's a bad, bad habit that makes me look less credible and makes me sound less authentic when I'm talking to you. If you have this issue where you have to keep talking when there's dead air silence, where you have to make sure that the other person understands every single critiquing point of your argument, that's a habit that you need to break. Think about the way that I'm speaking to you right now. Now compare that to the previous videos, even the video that I just made yesterday about my advice that I would give to 20 year olds. There's one piece of advice that I missed in that video that I was intending to implement in that video and I never did. Speak less. Because it's an interesting phenomenon. When you talk more, it gives people less belief in what you're saying. That's why they say all bark, no bite. Because the more that you bark, the less that people are going to assume that you can back it up. That's why when you see these people freaking out online, when they're talking too much, when they're not sounding credible, it makes you not want to watch them. But here's an actionable step for you. The next time that you're interacting with someone, I want you to try to talk dumb. <laughs> I know that sounds dumb, but literally dumb yourself down. You don't need to talk so much. If somebody asks, how were you today? Instead of saying, Oh, I was doing good because at work I had a pretty good day, but then I had to go actually leave early because my child had an issue and then my child had an issue because he was running around outside and then he accidentally tripped over a stick and sprained his ankle. So then I had to take him inside and actually make sure that his ankle was okay and it was, but then he stained his shorts and yada, yada. Nobody cares. If somebody else wants to know more, they will ask you more. There is no need to explain more when somebody doesn't ask. It, it really makes genuine conversation flow so much more smoothly because when you answer it all in one go, you don't leave any room for the other person to di divvy in anymore. You've already answered every single question and now it feels like you can't split off from the conversation to keep the conversation going. Because let's also take, for example, the example that I just used about you were at work, you had to go home because your kid sprained his ankle, but he didn't actually. Let's use this example by saying, did you have a good day? And then you could say, no, not really. I had to leave work early. And now that sounds really interesting because you've left the door open for them to be curious, like, oh, what the hell happened? Did you have to leave early because you were sick? Did something happen? Was there an argument with a coworker? They don't know, and now they're kind of curious, like, what happened? And then you can say from there, yeah, I had to go home because I got a call saying my kid injured himself. 
And now they can say, oh, dang, what happened? Did they trip over something? Are they okay? You know, and you see how when you don't explain everything in one go, it leaves the door open for them to wonder. And that translates to you being a better conversationalist because now you're leaving the door open to mystery and wonder. When you explain everything in one go, you close that door and then conversations become dead. Dead air. There's nothing to say. How many conversations, think about it, how many conversations have you had where the conversation ended on them because they didn't have anything more to say? I, can, I guarantee you anything, we've all had that experience where we talk too much and then there's nothing left to say. So that's your actionable step. Next time that you're out and about and you're actually talking with a coworker or friend or somebody you're interested in, dumb yourself down and just say a topic or a key point. Don't overcomplicate it, just answer it in a much dumber way because it will keep conversation going because dumber is better rather than trying to be intelligent about your response. Because again, the more you talk, the less credible you are. It's something that we all need to work on. There, are, We are all healing from childhood trauma, from people not believing us, from us thinking that it's okay to be doing the bad habits that we don't realize are actually not okay. Because we're all so socially retarded these days that nobody actually really realizes when they're making a mistake and when they are making the mistake, nobody wants to say that, hey, you know, you shouldn't be doing that because it's socially stigmatized to be criticizing people these days. And it's not really criticism per se if it's helpful and it's in good faith. If it's not in good faith and they're just criticizing you just to badmouth you, then obviously that's a whole different topic. But overall, just the whole point to take home from this, talk less next time, don't overcomplicate it, just keep, just keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Honestly, I want your feedback on this video. If you think that I've presented myself better in this video, then leave a comment down below saying, Jeff, you did wonderful this time or give this video a like, dislike, doesn't matter, engagement helps. Be sure to also subscribe to me so I can continue to help you so that way you can create a family that creates a community and you can live your best possible life. See you in the next one. Take care.